Okay, I guess I'm live. Hi friends, Facebook friends. Give me a couple of minutes here. I'm going to share this uh, out to some people. Um, today I'm talking about, uh, as I has promised, um, how come my friends and family, they, they'll buy from Target, they'll buy from Walmart, they'll buy from all the big box stores, but they won't buy from me. After all, I've got a, a very good product and it uh, makes no sense. Why won't they buy from me? I'm going to talk about that a little bit. Well, not a little bit, but I'll probably, I'll probably go into a little detail on this. Hold on, I'm, I'm going to share this. It's going to take just a little bit of a while here. But, uh, as you come on, tell me where you're from. Uh, tell me what's happening with you. And uh, we'll get started here in just a few seconds. As soon as I can get the, the name of the right group in here. There it is. Okay. We're going to share that. Yeah, I, th I think we're shared. Okay, it says it's successfully shared. I'm going to, I'm going to uh, trust them on that. I'm going to move over here to where I got a little more room. And we're going to get started. All righty. Welcome. Hi, everybody. It's, it's raining here in Colorado, and... I don't want, I wonder if it's raining in Georgia, if it'll be raining there tonight, you know, like a, a rainy night in Georgia kind of thing. But uh, welcome, my name is Roger Cox. I'm with uh, Health and Freedom with Roger Cox. Um, with the Facebook page, and it's a great Facebook page. <laughs> Where have you heard that before? So, the topic I'm talking about today is how come my friends and my family, they'll buy from Walmart, they'll buy from Target, they'll buy from all these big box stores, they know I'm a network marketer. They know I'm a small business person. How come they don't buy from me? And so I'm going to talk about that. And I'm going to talk about another thing as well. And, and that is, uh, well, well let, me, let me back up here just a little bit. You've probably seen on your Facebook friends, on your post, you know, I've seen them. You, the, the network people will come on and they will they'll lament. I guess that's a word, lament. They're, they're lamenting the fact that their friends and their family, they know they have a small business. They know they're a network marketer, but they, they continue to go to these big box stores and they, and they buy from them instead of from, from, the, from their friends. You know, and their, their, uh, their argument is, why would you want to give a CEO of Target, for example, any more money than he already say has? He'll just spend on who knows what. You can invest in a small business owner and you can put that small business owner will use it to put braces on his, on his children's teeth to buy music lessons or whatever, and you know we hear that all the time, and I and I think I've actually shared that a uh, post like that a time or two, but I got a little different perspective on it today, and I'm probably going to make some people mad. So if you, if you get mad, just hang in there, you know, and, and think about it a little bit. The other thing I, I hear lots of times is you know the uh, celebrities, Kim Kardashian. You know, I'm not sure I really know who she is. Somebody famous, I think. Uh, but anyway, she'll she'll come on and she'll say, I use this product. It's the best product in the world, and people will buy that product from her. Or think of Michael Jordan. You know, Michael Jordan, he's got a shoe, and he says, this is the shoe that will make all the difference in the world, and people will buy that shoe. He even endorses underwear. Remember the underwear ads for Michael Jordan? You know, this, this underwear makes me feel good, you know, and people buy it. But how come they won't buy from you? So we're going to talk, we're going to talk about that a little bit. So first of all, if you're expecting people to buy from you rather than from a big box store, my question to you is, why? Why would they buy from you instead of Walmart? Do you have a reason why they would buy from you? You know, in my experience, most people, they buy things from places because they, uh, they feel that they're getting some value from it. If they're not getting value from buying it at this place, they'll go to another place. So the question to you is, what value are you giving to people that will make them want to buy from you? Now, I understand, you know, the concept that, you know, if you, if you buy from me, then you're putting my kids through school, you're, you're, uh, you're buying piano lessons, you're buying braces on their teeth. It's all a good cause as opposed to giving someone who has billions of money, even more money. I can understand that reasoning, but you're not thinking as an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur doesn't think that way. An entrepreneur is thinking, 
okay, if people are going are buying stuff from Walmart, from Target, what value are they providing that I'm not? What are they giving my customers that I'm not giving them that makes them want to go to Walmart or to Target? And then once they, they try to figure out what that what that missing value is, and then they try to provide it. On the other hand, if you're thinking, you know, well, they, they, they need to buy from me because I need to put my kids into braces. That's not how an entrepreneur thinks. That's an entitlement thinking. They're not going to buy from you just because you need money. That's an entitlement approach. And as network marketers, we don't need an entitlement approach. We are entrepreneurs and we need to come across as entrepreneurs. So you need to give your customer a reason why they should buy from you and not from someone else, from Target. Maybe it's because you haven't uh, expressed the value enough. You haven't convinced them that what you have to offer is worth coming to you. You know, a lot of our network marketing companies, we, we offer products that are, that are high quality, right? And with that high quality comes a bigger price. If you're trying to convince your friends and your neighbors who, this is the example I've heard before, if you're trying to convince them to, uh, to buy your $50 a month hand cream, and they're used to buying $5 from Ponds, and they get it at the pharmacy or wherever they get it from, you have to figure out the values there. You know, are, you, are you able to give them enough value for $50 that's going to make them turn away from their $5 at, at, at uh, the pharmacy? You've got to find out what they're getting from the, the big boxes that you're not giving them, some service or something. Maybe, you know, maybe the big box is closer to them. Maybe they like the, the cashier at a particular line. You know, there could be all kinds of reasons why people go to a big box store to buy stuff. Your, your assignment, <laughs> if I can give that to you, is to find out why they go to another store and are not buying from you. There's a reason. Otherwise, they would be coming to you, right? You need to find that reason, and you need to figure out if you can provide that value. That is how an entrepreneur thinks. An entrepreneur does not think, well, people are going to buy from me just because I'm needy. I need the stuff. I need money. I need, I need this, and I need that. People don't buy for those reasons, you know. Maybe your really good friends might, just to kind of help you out. But that's not really what you as an entrepreneur want. You don't want pity. You don't want people buying from you because they feel sorry for you. They want you want people buying from you because you're providing the value that they are willing to pay for. Okay, it's a hard lesson, you know, and it, I, I might hurt some feelings here, but it's the truth. If you're going to be an entrepreneur, you need to think like an entrepreneur. You need to get out of the entitlement thing that just because you started a business, people are going to flock to you just because of they're your friend, because they might short term, but it's no way to build a big business. Okay. With the celebrities thing, you know, why, why does Michael Jordan get people to buy his underwear? You know, and they won't buy, I don't know if you're selling underwear, but if you're selling underwear, why are they buying Michael Jordan's underwear and not yours? Why can they say something and people buy it? Well, one of the reasons is because they have some degree of authority. You know, they, people like them, they trust them, they know who they are, they can relate to them. So when they say something, it carries a lot of weight and they're more likely to buy. If you don't have that, if you're not bringing that same set of values to people, you know, if they don't know you, if they don't trust you, if they don't like you, they're not going to buy from you, no matter what your product is. So the, the trick in network marketing and small business is, is twofold, I think. First of all, you have to figure out what value you can give and you need to uh, somehow express that value to people, get them to see what value you, what value you bring. And second of all, you need to be considered some sort of an authority on it, you know. For example, let's, let's take another example for, for your business. If you're trying to get somebody into your business, let's, uh, let's say that if you're at your, your place of work, you know, because a lot of you are still working, right? And uh, two weeks ago, you know, you had an after, after work party and you were smoking and drinking and eating pizza up until 3 o'clock in the morning and you know, all the time you're complaining about your workplace and how you can get by with doing as little as you can. And now two weeks later you come to your, your co-workers. In the meantime, you've gotten into a business and you're going to become successful. And you come to your friends and say, hey, join me in this opportunity. We're, we're going to be big. We're going to be successful. We're going to make lots of money. And this guy's thinking, 
I remember two weeks ago, you know, you were not a successful type person. Why would I want to join you? You know, they're, they're, they're probably not telling you that, but they're, they're thinking that. You have no authority with them at all because of, the, because of who they see, perceive that you are. So, so, and with your product, you know, again, if you, two weeks ago, if you're, if you're out drink, eating three pizzas at a time, and you know, and you're, you know, you're getting drunk every weekend or whatever the case might be, and then you come and now you've got this product that's going to solve everybody's health problem and you're coming across as a, a health person, they're not going to believe you, you know, because they know what you were like before. Now, that's not to say everything is bad because there's ways around this, right? What you have to do is to establish yourself as some authority. So, excuse me, I got a cough. <coughs> I hope I didn't spray all over your and got your computers all messy. I apologize if I did. So my train of thought, where'd my train of thought go? It left the track. So if you, uh, if you were trying to convince people to use your health product or to become your partner in business, you're going to have to establish that you know what you're talking about. You're going to have to establish some authority. So as a new person to business, that's why it's so hard for new people because they come in and they're expecting people to, to believe them they're expecting them to have some authority, and so they're saying, buy my product. You know, they, put, they post on Facebook, buy my product, get my opportunity. And it's a struggle for them because number, they don't have the authority. They don't have, they're not credible, you know, because there's, there's nothing to back them up. So here's kind of what you need to do. And here's what you need to do in order to establish that credibility. If, for example, you're in a health product, or, you know, health and wellness business, in order for you to convince people to buy health and health products from you, you're going to have to come across as some sort of an authority. And in order to do that, you need to give value of some sort. So what if, just here's a what if, what if instead of coming onto your Facebook post and saying, buy this, it's the greatest product in the world, it's going to change your life. What if instead of, you, instead of starting with that, you first establish yourself as someone that knows what they're talking about. You know, figure out, you know, Get, get some get some knowledge behind you, and then you share that knowledge. You start teaching people, because as you teach, you then become the authority. And at some point, people will see you as the authority. If you're putting out good, valuable stuff, good information, people will start to see you as the authority. People will start to see you as someone that they can like and someone that they can trust, because you know what you're talking about. Other than, you know, the reverse side of that is you come on and you look, you're telling people to buy stuff, and people know that, you have no idea what you're talking about. You you haven't done it. So, so I hope I didn't step on. Well, I know I stepped on some few to toes today, but uh, I hope you at least think about it. You know, that there are reasons why people aren't buying from you. That there's reasons why they go to Walmart, why they go to Target, they go to big box places, and the, the number one reason is because those places are giving them some value that you are not giving them yet, some value that they want and that they need that you're not providing. And as an entrepreneur, your job is to find out what it is. What are they giving my potential customers that I am not yet giving them? And then figure out a way to do it. Figure out a way to give them the value. Sometimes the value is just educating them. Going back to the $5 Pond's face cream. They're not going to spend $50 on a face cream if they don't know why that cream is going to be any better than the $5 stuff that they're using. You have to establish them, and they have to believe you when you tell them that this $50 stuff is better than the $5 stuff. You have to establish some sort of credibility. You have to become an authority. And the way you do that is start teaching people. You, uh, you provide value. You, you, val you provide um, information. You, you go on Facebook Live or you do whatever you need to do to establish yourself as someone who knows what they're talking about. Someone that when people see you and they, they hear what you're saying, they say, I can trust this guy. And I've seen him long enough. He's been around long enough. I know him. I can trust him. He's just as credible as Michael Jordan's underwear, right? Okay. <laughs> Maybe I'm talking too much about Michael Jordan's underwear. We should find another example. But so that's pretty much my, my video for today. There, there's a reason why people go to, go to Walmart. There's, people why, there's a reason why people go to Target. Because they're finding some value there that you are not yet giving them. And you've got to fight, figure out what that, what's missing. What are you not giving and figured out a way to get them to it, to give to give them that value, and then you got to find a way to educate them and to let them know that you know, you know that 
but that what you're saying is in their best interest. Hope this makes sense to you. I hope it resonates a little bit with you. And that, you know, it's, 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 it's a hard thing, you know, because we, we come into business and we're told that we're going to make a lot of money real quick. And for a lot of people, that's just not so. You're going to have to, in order for long-term success, you're going to have to be someone that people consider to be an authority on, on the product or, or even on the, the opportunity that you're providing. You have to be someone that's perceived to be someone that's going to be there. Someone that's not going to be doing this for a week and then gone next week. It has to be some longevity. You have to, you have to present yourself. You have to, you have to convince people that, that you're the real thing. Okay, so that, that's my video. Um, my name again is Roger Cox. I have a, my Facebook page. I, I hope you, could, I ask you to go to my Facebook page and just like it. You know, follow it. It's uh, www.facebook.com. And then slash with the freedom, health and freedom with Roger Cox. That'll get you to my business page. I also have a blog. That I, I would love it if you go to that. And uh, there's there's videos. There's more videos on there. There's some of the videos have text to go along with them. That that blog is at www.rogercox.net. And uh, if you get value out of this, you know, let me know. Put something down in the comments. If you disagree with me, you know, I, I want to hear that too. I want to hear your thoughts. So that's my that's my video. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll be talking to you again soon. Thanks. Bye. Whoops, my button didn't go safe. I pushed finished and it didn't finish. We'll try this again.